By the late 1960s and 70s, Dayglo was synonymous with psychedelic culture, with artists embracing its brash colors as technological advancement that could extend painting and design into a more sensorial experience. Essentially, the next step in depicting light. It was embraced by mainstream fashion by the 1980s and 90s. Before all of that, Dayglo was first developed in the 1930s by the Switzer brothers, who mixed eye drops and shellac to create a substance that glowed yellow under a black light. While they were not the first to observe or experiment with fluorescence, they were the first to effectively market it. Initially used for posters under a black light in cinema lobbies, in the 1940s they developed daylight fluorescence and started the Dayglo Color Corporation, still in existence today. Dayglo pigments were used by the US military during World War II, such as blaze orange aircraft undersides to avoid mid-air crashes. After the war, it was made commercially available and first used on the Tide Box in 1959, setting a trend across consumer packaging. When fine artists like Herbert Ock began painting with Dayglo, it was considered in poor taste and 